Good morning, frugal friends! Are we all awake now? Okay, I'm on my way to Aldi, of course, to do a little dumpster diving. It's the day after trash day, so we know that anything in the dumpster is fresh since yesterday. I wanted to say a couple things about Frugal Daddy and his eye color and my theory that his sister is actually his birth mother. Okay, because I got a lot of comments about that. I enjoyed reading everybody's comments about, you know, what color eye color, what color eye color, what the eye color was of their parents, themselves, their children. I actually read all that. I find that very interesting, especially when someone has one eye, one color, and one eye, a completely different color, like one blue eye, one brown eye. Like, I think that's so cool. I would love if, if I had two different eye colors, but I don't. I just have the super sexy, beautiful, and rare green eyes. And the thing about Frugal Daddy's sister being his mother, that was a joke. And he knows it. She's only seven years older than he is. So, I think that we know it's a joke. And it's a joke we've explored before. Just based on how close they are. It was a joke. So, for all the people who were saying, oh my God. Oh, God, poor frugal daddy. Oh, he was so horrified by that. Oh, he looked so uncomfortable. Oh, I can't believe you posted that. Uh, please. Please. Sometimes your issues are not actually our issues. Like, we're okay with certain stuff, weirdos that we are. Sometimes I think you normie people, normie, short for normal, you normies are reading issues in that we don't have. He was not horrified. And believe me, there are things we say and do when we're recording videos that he says, edit that out. I mean, you see me sometimes say, oh, sure, honey, I'll edit that out. I'll make it look normal. And I don't edit it out. That's usually just when he's telling a story and he can't get it out of his mouth. But no, I mean, there are really things where he's like serious, like don't post that. And I don't. Because I don't even want to tell you how it would make him look and what he doesn't want to appear as because then you'd be like, really? Frugal Daddy is... I'm not going to tell you. You just leave that as a mystery. What is Frugal Daddy, really? You don't know. No, he was, he was not horrified or concerned about that. It was just a joke. I know some people are only here for the garbage. You're only here for the dumpster. But, I mean, luckily you get the bonus of us. Sometimes you're just going to get our weird conversations just because that's what you're going to get. It just makes the video a little bit different and more than just garbage. For those who have issues with me always interrupting Frugal Daddy when he's trying to talk or tell a story, because I get that criticism a lot. Nothing man sounds Yes. Yeah. That's how I imitate people who leave comments that irritate me. Here's the thing, guys. The reason I <laughs> the reason I interrupt him is because he can't get a goddamn sentence out of his mouth without taking these super long pauses. And I know what word he's looking for, so I'm trying to help him. And I'm trying to help you not have to wait all day to hear his story because you have other things to do. You have other videos to watch. You have other things to do in life than just sit through Frugal Daddy and like dead air, silence, while he's trying to remember what word he wants to have come out of his mouth. Hence, I interrupt him. Now, uh, to be fair, whether you believe it or not, I'm going to let you know this now. I'm keeping it almost a secret. I'm going to say Frugal Daddy interrupts me more than I interrupt him. I edit that out of videos. I, I edit almost anything bad he does or says out of videos because I don't want to hear comments from people saying like, ooh, why'd you marry such a man? So I just try to make him look as good as possible. With me, you're pretty much getting the real me and sorry if I'm not perfect and I'm not such a delightful, wonderful wife. I never said I was a good wife. I never said it, okay? Marriage is hard, and it's not my favorite thing in the world. Personally, I like being single. So, there. But I'm married. We're doing the best we can. But, oh my God, you're getting me worked up. We interrupt each other. It's our conversational style. 
we talk over each other, we talk at the same time. Like, I will continue to talk, he will continue to talk, I can hear what he's saying, he can hear what I'm saying, all at the same time. That's how we talk, and we're okay with it. I know some of you guys aren't okay with it. That's where I'm saying I think you're reading your issues into our behavior. We're okay with it. That's just how we talk. That's how some people are. That's how some cultures are. Some people talk with their hands. Some people don't. It's, it's like it's a cultural thing. And you're going to say, well, what culture are you from where it's okay to talk over each other? I don't know. We're from our culture. And I think it somewhat has to do with our enthusiasm for the conversation and our impatience to move the conversation forward. So I'm sorry. From now on, I promise I will do my best not to interrupt him, even though, honest to God, when he's telling a story and he pauses because he can't think of the word, I feel like I am waiting so long before I interject and try to say something. And I know it's really only a split second, but I don't know why he's such a freaking slow talker. And it just, you know, it irritates me on your behalf because I feel like you don't have time to waste. All right, you got me all hot and bothered this morning. Sorry. So if we cleared some things up, people, I know some of you just love the shit out of Frugal Daddy and you think he can do no wrong. And I know there are a lot of, uh, I'm just going to say, it's, a, it's in our culture. There are a lot of women in our society who are raised and trained to think the men do no wrong and, you know, oh, that poor man and oh, that harpy wife. I mean, it's this stereotype that people cling on to. I mean, my grandmother was like this. Oh my God. It was so funny because she got divorced pretty, pretty way back there in like the 1930s. And that was pretty risque. And she probably got away with it because she had money. Cause that always helps. But, and she left an abusive, like really physically abusive husband. That's a whole other story. So, you know what? My grandmother knew men weren't perfect, but did she ever have a bias towards men? Oh my God gosh, unbelievable. Oh, that poor man. Oh, that terrible life. You want to see me as the villain and him as just this sweet, perfect little poopsie poo? Go ahead. Let me just tell you, nobody's perfect. And no matter how handsome or cute you think he is, that wears off in about a day. So, okay, well, I'm at the dumpster. So, and okay, if it looks like I'm driving a British car and I'm driving on the wrong side, it's because the camera on my new phone trying to see where I'm going, flips the image when the camera is facing to me. Like right now I'm looking at my face. So yeah, it flips the image. And when it's flipped outwards, like when we're looking directly into the dumpster, it doesn't flip the image. So it's not a British car. Like I could, I always laugh when people ask if I'm driving a British style car. Like I could ever in my life make the adjustment to driving with the steering wheel on the right side. Like I could never do that. I'd be crashing into things right and left. All right. So, oh my God. You wouldn't even believe what the dumpster area looks like. Like, I don't know what's in the dumpster, but something's gone crazy next to the dumpster. Oh my God, it's a mess and it's wet. Ew. See, look at that. Look at that. Look, like, look at that mess. And who's going to come and throw all that in the dumpster? Hey, I did mention Frugal Daddy's sister is only seven years older, right? No. And she's not his birth mother. What is going on with all of this? Look. This has got to be people's personal trash. Like, look at this. There's like a stuffed animal. There's a laundry basket. There's an old pillow. There's a luggage. Like, what is this? It's, oh, there's an old yellow and brown crocheted afghan. Like, someone just came here and left all their shit. And this is... I'm sure what irritates the crap out of stores. Like, somebody has to clean this mess up. Look, there's a prescription bottle. Like, you don't come and throw out your own trash. There's, there's medicine in here. What is this? Anything good? Glyburide. What the heck is that? And it's totally empty. They've thrown nothing away since the trash was emptied yesterday, but they have all of this. Wow. Well, this was fun. All right, let's go on to save a lot. Okay, driving progress is a little slow today due to this fog. It's uh, weird. It reminds me of all those stories my father told me of when he lived in Cambridge, England. Yes, he did, with my mother in the 1950s when he was in the Air Force. Pea soup weather, they called it, with all the fogs and so forth. 
no more kidding. British people, do you have to deal with this all the time? Look, I'm almost rear-ending somebody. I mean, they stop to turn into a gas station and there you are, smashing up their backsides. Anyway, sorry about before, you got me all hot and bothered and, you know, uh, sometimes I'm a nice person, but when I feel attacked, I'm, I'm getting sick of feeling attacked, that's all I'm saying. I never said I was so nice. And by the way, we're like best friends, we're like best buds, Frugal Daddy and I, so. Well, there's definitely trash in the Save-A-Lot dumpster. Is there any good trash, though? It looks like trashy trash. My homeless friend has not been here lately. It makes me wonder where he goes. Oh, there we have an employee. That's super. Oh, okay. Well, we do have some food in here. We've got... It's kind of a mess, and it's wet. Got the little fruit salads. I mean, fruit cup, as it were. The boxes, everything's wet, wet, wet. We got some cupcakes, some mini cupcakes. So, uh, so we'll just put these in the car right away. All right, looking on this side, where I'm not so directly in her line of sight. Ugh, it's such a disgusting mess. I really, I like my trash to be a little cleaner and more pristine. Look, it's empty. An empty corn dog box. I mean, how does that make it into the save a Did they clean the parking lot or something? Because it's just crappity, crappity. They definitely swept something. Oh, look, a box of brand flakes. All right, let's get that out. The box is Or it doesn't stand up that well in the rain. I mean, it's not crushed or anything, and I'm gonna bet that the bag of bran flakes inside is okay. Okay, pokey. All right, we'll come back around the other side. All right, the person was standing right over there. She's gone. So maybe she's gone inside to report me. Who knows? Who knows? Is it gonna be that kind of day? Who knows? I mean, she could have come over and confronted me. Why would she go inside? All right. What's that? What's that? What's this, this, this? Ooh, come here. Come here. Look at that. We've got shortening. And I know some people in other countries don't have this or they don't call it this. It's, ew, made from meat, fats, and vegetable oils. That seems so very unhealthy. You can use it for frying. That's why there's a picture of fried chicken. It's solid at room temperature. You use it for biscuits and pie. I... We'll take it, but I think I'm going to give that away because, well, one, it's made with meat fats, and that's just kind of gross to me, plus I'm vegan, I don't want to cook with it, and I just feel like, wow, this is super unhealthy, but I still feel like I need to rescue it. There's rice here. Ugh, I just, ugh, gross. Huge bag of rice. The rice was inside a bag that had like spilled spaghetti sauce on the outside, which is what I put my hand right in. Oh, thank God I have hand sanitizer in the car. All right, here's a mystery can, which is always fun. Looks like there's more rice down there, but there's so much piled on top of it, I'm not sure I'll be able to dig it out. I love a mystery can. I'm guessing fruit cocktail. What do you guys think it is? We'll open it at home. Ooh, look, look, look. Oh. Frugal Daddy's favorite powdered donuts. We're gonna have to talk about, uh, we're gonna have to talk about Frugal Daddy and junk food in a minute, too. That's some, oh, this is, <laughs> we got grits, but yeah, that's empty. Or open, rather. Ooh, potatoes. Ugh. Ooh, nice red potatoes. Ooh, chills. Some very ripe bananas, which would be good for banana bread or smoothies. Ugh, it's wet, 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 wet in here. What is that? Oh, 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 holy cow, that's some chocolate. I know my hairdo's looking really pretty now, I'm a dumpster hairdo. So that was pretty good for a dumpster that really didn't look like it had anything, but let me just back to Frugal Daddy and his eating habits. We're just going to address all the Frugal Daddy issues today. All our daddy issues. No, that's frugal daddy issues. Okay, so the donuts. So people say, oh, you give him so much shit about eating this junk food, but you bring it home to him. I know, 
it's like I'm his enabler. Oh my God, look at the wrinkles. Here's the thing. Yeah, you're kind of right, but I honestly don't get that worked up about what he chooses to eat because he's a grown man and I have tried for 10 years to get him to eat healthy food. He's a grown man. He's going to make his own choices. He's not a baby. He's not my child. Okay. I can't hold him down and force him to eat broccoli. He's going to eat what he wants. A lot of the junky, treaty, sugary, fatty food I bring home from dumpsters, we donate because we know he can't control himself. Now with some things like those donuts, and luckily there's only one box, he will want those, he will open those, he will eat those. And I don't care. But the thing I give him shit for is you don't have to eat the whole box in one sitting, which he, he will do. You can have one donut, okay? And then it's not that bad for you. It's not good for you by any stretch of the imagination. We cannot pretend the donuts are good for you. But if you had one little mini donut, probably not that big a deal. What gets me is that he eats the entire box. Sometimes the critical comments that use the words obnoxious and irritating in particular. Wow, I do just spiral down into the depths of self-hatred when I read those kind of comments. And then it takes me a couple of days to say, okay, I'll still do YouTube, I'll post videos. Maybe people like the fact that uh, it's gonna bother me and make me wanna kill myself and make me hate myself and feel friendless. Maybe people like having that control over someone who's emotionally vulnerable, okay? Uh, I don't know. But yes, it does hurt my feelings. I have feelings and it hurts them. See, the thing is, here's the thing, because I know you think I don't care what other people think of me. And it's true. It really doesn't matter. It's not going to ever change my behavior. So if people think dumpster diving is gross or I'm mean or I interrupt too much or I'm horrible or I'm obnoxious, whatever. Like, I'm not going to stop dumpster diving. I've never, I would never stop dumpster diving because other people thought it was gross. Like, I really couldn't care less about that. But when people attack me personally and say I'm obnoxious and irritating, like that does, I do have feelings. Like that does hurt my feelings. So I don't know what to tell you because I don't think I can probably stop being obnoxious and irritating. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I think some people don't get my sense of humor and other people just hate it. I, I don't know. I don't know. We're dishing today, people. I, and did I mention his sister's only seven years older? I know she's not his birth mother. He knows she's not his birth mother. He knows it was just a joke. It was just a joke. If she was 15 years older and really was his birth mother, would I tell the whole world? Probably, yeah. But in this case, it was just a joke. She was only seven when he was born. Or so they say. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I do appreciate all of you who leave positive comments if there's anybody left after this video. Nobody's perfect, you know? Nope, nobody's perfect. Please don't stop watching because you think I'm such a bitch now. Okay. Made it home from Save a Lot. I brought home the only thing I got from Aldi off of the ground was that little pill of medicine. Frugal Daddy, what did I tell you that medicine was? Gliburide. 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 And Frugal Daddy, who used to work for Big Pharma, I know, he's the devil. Uh, he knew what that was because he used to make it. It's, um, he opened it up and it was just full of screws and bolts. Those little. Pill bottles are really good for storing little things like pins, safety pins, paper clips, nails, bolts, screws. That's what was in it. Let's wander over to the other side of the kitchen and take a little look-see. Okay, so as I... What are you cats doing? Could you stop it? All right, now that I have all the Save-A-Lot food spread out on my kitchen floor, it occurs to me it's not the healthiest haul. We have our shortening. Yes, we've discussed that already. Part meat fat, part vegetable oil. We've got our huge 10 pound bag of rice. That's probably the best thing today. Well, I don't know. Maybe the red potato's the best thing because potatoes will save the world. And I like a red potato, don't you? Sure we do. We have some cheddar cheese sticks. We have not one, but two packages of the little mini cupcakes. Three of these little fruit cups. The donuts, which Frugal Daddy can have for dinner. 
I don't care. He can eat them all. Look at that. It was marked down to 50 cents. That's why. I'm not going to even say it. Never mind. I'm not going to say anything about why poor people are fat and have junk food cost a lot less than healthy food. And eh, nope, I don't even need to go there. We've got our, we've got our bag of bran flakes. They're fine. These three Reese's peanut butter cup packages with white chocolate. Four packages of the sharing size of the M&Ms. We have a whole box here of many, 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 not yet counted, cookies and cream candy bars. As well as many, many, many of these really quite large M&M milk chocolate bars. I've never heard of this, but then again, as I've said before, and we'll say again, I live under a rock and I'm happy to stay there. So I never know what's going on. I never know what's new in the world of stuff you can spend your money on. But it looks to me like we have a candy bar with M&Ms embedded in it and M&Ms just being chocolate wrapped in the little candy shell. So I don't know. It just strikes me as a little weird, but... Whatever. If people like them, it's a big candy bar. If I worked for the store and I had to throw this candy out, I would become apoplectic. I just couldn't do it. I would just be handing it out to passers-by on the street, throwing it into traffic. All right, so there's all the Save-A-Lot items. It makes a fine-looking dinner, doesn't it? I almost forgot the overwrapped bananas. I'm going to peel them and freeze them right away for smoothies. Frugal Daddy said, oh, get rid of them. You don't need them. And I said, Daddy, don't you tell me what I need and don't need. I probably go through seven or eight bananas a day at least in smoothies. And we don't have any in the freezer right now. So there. He doesn't know whether I need a mushy banana or not. Don't ever let other people define for you whether or not you need a mushy banana in your freezer. Only you know. And I know. And you do. And here's the mystery can. So everybody make your prediction, make your guess. <sighs> what did I say I thought it was? Fruit cocktail. Okay. Or green beans. Those are the things I'm going to guess. So hold on one sec because I'm going to open it now. <sighs> the cats got all excited when I opened the can. They thought it was cat food. So when I first saw that, I thought, oh, fruit, I'm right. But no, I'm not. It's some kind of pie filling. It might be peach pie filling because those look like peaches to me, but it's it's got that really thick pie goo. So peach pie coming up soon. Okay, well, this has been super fun, fabulous, and festive, and I'm glad we had this time to chat together. Glad we were able to clear up a few things. Don't we all feel better for having vented? And, you know, we're a family here. You all and me, we're a little dumpster family, a little dumpsterino family down the street. So until we dive again, my darlings, stay safe, sane, healthy, happy, fabulous, out of jail and in the dumpster. And I'm wishing all good things to you until I see you again, probably, hopefully tomorrow. Tune in, same bat channel. Same dumpster channel, same dumpster place. Okay, love you guys. Bye.